Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have for you the Minecraft 1.8 update. Today, on the 2nd of September 2014, one year, two months, and one day after 1.7 was released, we have 1.8 for you. This update is called the Bountiful Update. There's been a lot of blocks added, there's been a couple of new mobs added, and I'm going to split this uh, tutorial video for 1.8 into two parts. Today's part is just going to be all this new stuff that's been added. The next video will be, the, which will be uploaded sometime soon, probably within the next couple of days or next Wednesday. The next video will be about the new C update or something along the lines of that. Let's get started with the video. So, what we have over here, we're going to start with this first, we have armor stands. Armor stands have been, um, there's been a mod for armor stands and I'm sure Syndicate is going to love this. Uh, armor stands are crafted with five sticks, no six, seven sticks actually and a stone slab in the order in the formation that will be shown on screen. And I can right click it, right click them all, right click all the armor and basically strip this armor stand and then it works with every single piece of armor and you can um, there is no, currently no um, currently no way to, for the armor stands to be holding any weapons legitimately. You can spawn it in with a, like an ID so let's get on to this. This is called, these are the different, the, well, three new blocks that have been added. Well, four. No, actually not. Six, seven. Seven, I can't count today. So these, this block is called diorite. It sounds like diarrhea. Diorite. Uh, and this diorite can be crafted with cobblestone and nether quartz. Uh, and it gives you two diorite and it gives you this block. No, it doesn't. This is diorite. Whoops, I am. Um, and this dire, and this is called diorite, and then the blocks above it are called the polished, the uh, polished dianite, polished uh, andesite, and polished granite. So the way you craft uh, the polished is you put that block, the diorite, the andesite, or the actual granite itself, um, and then you put a two by two, just like you would a crafting table with wood. And the way to make granite is you put diorite with nether quartz and that gives you the granite and the way to make andesite is you put diorite with cobblestone. What this here is is wet sponge and this is dry sponge. The way of, of obtaining um, the way of obtaining wet sponge is by killing the new mob in one of the sea and in in, by this killing the sea mob and the way to get the dry sponge is you just put this in a furnace and then that's that. So what we have over here is some bunnies, some bunny rabbits. Minecraft or Mojang have updated Minecraft and they have added this new mob called a rabbit or a bunny or whatever you want to call it. Um, probably, probably the Australian version is going to call it something aw um, awesome. But yeah, you, they spawn in different colours. They spawn in the same biomes as sheep probably would. Well, p would. Uh, you can get baby rabbits. I think they, yeah, they definitely use carrots to breed. I'll show you right now. See, they're all going apeshit for it. They just won't let me click it because I'm in creative mode, I think. Yeah, because they all went apeshit for it. So, um, you can get... Oh yeah, they breed, but they don't show your they don't show hearts, which is pretty weird. So, you get three stuff that you can... Um, no, actually four stuff, because that's what that over there is for. You get, like, four items that you craft because of the new addition for rabbits. You get to craft, you get new food, a uh, rabbit, so you get one raw, well, between one and three raw rabbit from per one rabbit you kill, unless you have looting. Uh, then you put it in a furnace, and then out comes cooked rabbit. And also, yeah, that's it. You also get from sheep over there, that's why I have the sheep, you get cooked mutton. Um, you just kill a sheep like you normally would, and you get wool, but now you can get mutton. And this food is rabbit stew. Uh, it's crafted with a carrot, a jacket potato, it's been renamed, jacket potato, mushroom, and a bowl and cooked rabbit, all in that formation. And then it gives you rabbit stew. Rabbit stew is now the most um, hunger saturating food because it now gives you half of your entire hunger back. So, say I was down in five hearts, it then restore it fully. Then I could be able to regenerate. This chest is just the same as that over there. I don't know why I had it. Uh, 
this here, we have a furnace, not furnace, we have a brewing stand. Uh, and because of the new rabbit update, if you kill a rabbit, you can get rabbit hide. Let me just pick up that carrot. You get rabbit hide, you get rabbit foot, and you get the raw rabbit. Raw, raw rabbit? Yeah, raw rabbit. And what you can do with the rabbit's foot is if you put it uh, in a brewing stand with an awkward potion, you'll be able to get a potion of jump boost. And I'll show you what the jump boost does right now. The jump boost makes you jump, be able to jump higher, jump on two, well, one and a half blocks, one and a half blocks, so you can jump on a fence, which is, I think it's really damn awesome. Uh, yeah, you can jump, you can jump all up here, you can do all this sorts of crap, so yeah. <sighs> uh, clear. And then, what we can do now, this is, the reason I have this water pool over here, with, um, Sponge, you used to not be able to do this in 1.7 beyond and previous editions of Minecraft. Now you can soak, once you get this sponge, you can soak up water. I think it's a 7 by 7, yeah, I think it's like a 4 by 4, 4 by 5 area that it soaks up. And then you can just do that, and then you dry, uh, then it becomes wet sponge, and then you can just dry it off by putting it in a furnace. So what we have over here is we have different coloured fences. You're probably wondering what the hell they are. Well, you get different, because you now have different planks of wood, Mojang decided to update fences and doors. What you, you basically craft it in the same way you would a normal one. You can get different coloured sticks. Sticks. No, you can't actually, sorry. Uh, so you basically craft it like you would a normal thing. And then the crafting recipe will be up on the screen now. Same with the doors, you craft it like that. So you have the acacia door, the acacia door, the acacia fence, the jungle wood fence gate, the spruce fence gate, well fence, the birch gate, the ben birch fence, damn it, uh, the dark oak fence, and the you got the already got the normal one. Then you got your birch, uh, your birch door, your acacia door, your spruce door. No, it's not. That's the dark oak door. Your spruce door and your jungle door. So you get the 5 plus the normal one, well plus the 2 actually you get iron. And over here we have an iron trap door. Iron trap doors can't be clicked on just like the iron doors, you need a pressure plate. Nope. Uh, yeah actually you can use a redstone signal, so say if I put a redstone torch down here, it would open. But, like a normal fit, uh, like a normal trap door, I can't open it with my fists. I can open it with my fist with a normal trap door. Same with a regular door, I can just open all these with, a, with my fist, with my right click mouse button, unless you've changed it. Um, but I can't do that with iron, just like the iron door. So what we have over here is, we have, the, the Mo Yang have added, <laughs> I say that a lot this episode, I'm sorry, but you, you're going to have to get used to it, because I'm excited. Um, you're probably wondering why I have all the mossy, all the, like, um, rare, rare stone bricks. I have the mossy stone because you can now craft it by using vines and, just, just vines with the actual variant. So you say cobblestone and vines, that's you get mossy cobblestone, then you get um, stone and moss, uh, stone and vines, and then you get moss vines. And here we have cracked stone and, uh, what's this called again? Chiseled stone, I think. You get the cracked stone by, yeah, you get the cracked stone by putting normal stone bricks inside a furnace, and then you, and then, It'll basically crack because it gets too hot, and then it'll come out this. And the most rarest version of the rarest variant of stone bricks is the chiseled ones. What you craft, what you use to craft this is you use half stone slab, half stone brick slabs, um, and then you get one of them. So you probably, ugh, I'm, I'm going to try and vary it. Uh, over here we have uh, new new ways of new red well new button and lever placage. Placage. But before I go into all this, there's been a new update in the F3 mode. As you can tell, in the top left, it shows you your Minecraft version 1.8, which I'm currently on, and it shows you if it's modded or not. I'm 1.8 and I'm vanilla, because I don't think there's any mods, since today is the first day that it's been updated. You have your XYZ has been put into all of one, all one row, so it'd be X is minus 738, your Y is 4, your Z is minus 447, and it shows you the block you're standing on, which is, and it just rounds that up. It now shows you where you're facing, so I'm facing uh, west towards negative X, 88.5, 88 
by 3.6 and as you can possibly tell you're wondering what the little uh, red, blue and green things are. Well, uh, say I'm going this one, mm, say I'm going out the door, the blue shows me that I'm going to my uh, Z, Z axis, my red shows me that I'm going to my X axis and my green one shows me that I'm going towards my Y axis. So that's pretty damn cool. As you can tell, uh, now we have Minecraft wooden door. At, at the right side now we have Minecraft wooden door and it shows you where it's facing north. And it's half, you can show the half, the upper half and the lower half. You can see if it's open, it's not, but now it is. And then if it's powered, then I'll show you this. And then I'll do that. It is now powered and it is now open. Go away, person who's messaging me on Facebook. God damn it, I should have put my button silent. Right, so we have now been able to I've been long of, longing for this for so much. We are now able to put buttons and levers on top of ceilings instead um, uh, and also on the floor. Nope, I don't want stone, I want the button. See, you can place them to your heart's content all over the ground and it can be just like, it can be like an easier way of doing TNT run. So, we have here, we have the normal button, and then that doesn't do it. Normal, I don't know why that's there. We have the normal lever, and then we're just going to push that since to show you it actually works. And then you're probably wondering what that was. That was this, and it sh shuts off all the light. I was just doing something. Now, the Minecraft 1.8 update also shows you what biome you're in, and, well, it's an easier way of reading what biome you're in, and it also shows you light. Light, um, the torch block, or the torch, or whatever you want to call it, crafted by one stick and one coal, uh, can show you how much light you get. So, with this block, uh, it says zero sky, which means I'm not getting any sunlight, and I'm getting 13 from this torch. The reason be the reason I'm getting 13 is because I'm standing right next to it. So if I go one out, I get 12. Then if I go one out diagonally, I get 11. Then if I go one right, so basically any uh, lateral direction, so left, right, backwards and for uh, left, right, backwards and forwards, I get minus one if I went one block. Uh, but if I went diagonally, I'd get minus two blocks. So here it's 13. Here it's 11, here it's 9. So yeah, and Minecraft redstone torches, which emit a redstone signal, have 6 when you're here. So then that would be 4, and then that would be 2, and then so on and so forth. Now with this update, you also get, it shows you your display, what display you're having. So in mine, it's currently 1920 by 1018, because Minecraft take 2 pixels for the window, because you can't record in full screen, with my knowledge. Uh, you can also see your graphics card, which I have Intel HD, Intel R HD graphics, uh, 3.3.3, um, 3.30, 3.30, 0, Jesus, and build 18.8.15.10.2669, and now, uh, underneath that, you can see Minecraft colon grass, it shows you the grass you're looking on, variant, uh, Minecraft stone brick, and then you can see the variant, which is chiseled stone blocks, go away rain, you're not wanted! Leave now, please. And then you can show Minecraft stone brick, and variant mossy, and it should be actually Minecraft uh, cobblestone, and then variant mossy cobblestone. So I think that's this entire update done for. Well, most of the entire update. And now I'm going to go into the settings and show you that. So now we're in the settings. Uh, it looks pretty basic, well it doesn't look pretty basic, it looks the same as it did in 1.7, except there's just a bit of a difference. Up here, you can choose to lock your difficulty, so say, that's what I'm actually going to be doing in the Minecraft Modded Let's Play. I'm going to be changing this difficulty to uh, hard, and I'm going to lock it, and then it says, are you sure you want to lock this difficulty of this world? This will set the world to always be hard, and you will never be able to change it again. Then you click yes, and then the world will set to hard, or you can change it to uh, easy, and then it will say easy, or you want to keep it peaceful, and then it will be peaceful. Then you can go into skin customization. As you as you know, you've got um, two layers of skin in Minecraft. Right now, as you can tell, I'm not sure if you can tell, I might, I'm going to zoom in on this. There is two, if you can see it, there are two layers of my skin. My headphones, and just my normal character. What this allows you to do, it recognises, the skin customization recognises my headset, or my headphones, as a hat. So if I turn this off, click done, it will now turn off my headphones, and now you can't see them. 
It'd basically do that if you had a hat, a like a baseball cap, a fedora, a sombrero, etc, etc. You can also change your left trouser leg. Since it's two layers of skin, you can do that. You can same with the hat, you can do la le um, left trouser leg, right trouser leg, left sleeve, right sleeve, jacket, then you can choose cape on or off if you have a cape. So once you go into video settings, you can see this is all this is all good. Uh, but they have updated the chunk limit to 32 chunks instead of 24 six chunks which, which it was previously which loads 512 blocks and also you have alternate blocks which you can change and done then that changes the blocks changes the look of the blocks for this so guys I think that's this video done yeah I'm pretty sure that that's the entire thing that I've done also a uh, um, quick little note um, villagers now plant and harvest uh, over down, uh, over down in that town. Why is my video settings in 32 chunks? Should be in six. Um, the villager towns or the villager people, they now plant and harvest their own crops instead of you doing it for them. So yeah, that was another Minecraft. Well, that was the first Minecraft tip I've done in a while. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click the like button below. Subscribe. Plus one me on Google Plus. Follow my Twitter, like my Facebook page, and as always, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I shall see you in the next video. Adios, mis amigos.